Good morning, Middle Earth, and welcome to another Second Breakfast. This is an episode that Christina and I recorded. Well, first and foremost, Christina's back. Yay. Um, We recorded this after she after we finished recording the episode the final episode on two towers which won't come out until tuesday as you are listening to this it won't be out for another couple days so just wanted to pop in here and give that explanation first so you're not like what the heck this is confusion and we recorded this i was thinking it would be like a 10 or 15 minute patreon thing we ended up recording for longer than that which is always fun and great so I was like, hey, I'll release it for a second breakfast bonus content thing because we're all kind of dying inside a little bit. Um. Anyway, Christina and I had a great time doing this fun quiz. Then on Tuesday, you can enjoy the full episode where we we end the book. That's maddening to me. We finish. I, 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 I'm done with two towers. Actually, as you're listening to this, I will probably have started Return of the King already. That's a lie. I probably haven't planned that far ahead. Um, But yeah, enjoy this second breakfast. Hello, listeners, and welcome to uh, an episode of, I don't know, some kind of bonus content. I haven't decided yet if this is going to be a Patreon bonus content thing or if I'll make this a everyone bonus content thing. But either way, welcome. I am joined by Christina. We just finished our recording for the last chapter of Two Towers. Whoop, whoop. (laughs) And now we are going to take a shout out to Bethany, who shared it on the Tolkien About Facebook page. It's a statistical which character personality quiz. And I have I don't know if you've seen this going around, Christina, but I've seen people sharing their results where I think, so I think my understanding of it is that you take it and so it'll ask you questions just to assess your general personality. And then at the end, mm-hmm. you can choose like, oh, I want to see which Lord of the Rings characters I align with or which Harry Potter characters. So oh, I think okay. you take it once cool. and then you can choose different sets of results. So Christina and I awesome. both have it up. Um, and we are, we're going to take it just for funsies. I don't know. I clicked begin assessment. There's 28 questions. That's right. It's a slider scale. Oh, okay. My first one was artistic and scientific. I would say I'm mostly artistic. Mm-hmm. Mine is brave and careful. Ooh. And I feel like I'm equally both. Nice. I'm going to leave it in the middle. Yeah. Um, <laughs> my next one is orderly and chaotic. <laughs> I I feel like I have a lot of... I'm not going to slide it all the way to chaotic, but I'll do it like (laughs) kind of. What's yours? My next one is indulgent and sober. Nice. Mary Clay, you've personally seen me get drunk (laughs) more than once. I'm going to go pretty far to the indulgence. I'm going to go 90% indulgent. Oh, that's great. Um, Oh, I didn't realize, yeah, that it changes the percentages. So currently mine is 35% orderly. 65% 65% chaotic. Mm-hmm. I feel like maybe I should up that a little bit. Mm, there we go. <laughs> um, I changed it to 69% chaotic. That's nice. That sounds right. So I guess let's just both go through these. And if you get one, you don't have to say like what each one is, especially if there's like one that you don't feel comfortable sharing or whatever. Um, but if there's one that pops up that you think is kind of like funny or interesting, go ahead and shout it out. And say what that is. This one is wise and foolish. And an, I'm a fool of a took, so. <laughs> uh, no, that's a 50 that's 50 good. for sure. This one's hard. This one's loyal and traitorous. And I'm like, I mean, whoa. The, those are words that you use when you're in Lord of the Rings or in Harry Potter. Like, not in my. I don't think I've ever betrayed someone in my real life, you know? <laughs> yeah um i mean not since like you know high school yeah like what this one is angelic and demonic <laughs> i don't know what to do with this <laughs> my grandma would say i'm angelic <laughs> yeah it's like it depends on I'm who gonna, you ask yeah i'm gonna leave it 50 50 i got one that was refined and rugged and I just think that's funny because I feel like rugged is always a word I use to describe the men in movies and TV shows that I'm attracted to. Like a Jason Momoa type. Yeah. Or um, I was thinking Henry Cavill. Yeah. I think it's his last yeah. name from The Witcher. 
Yep. Mm. I love yeah. him. God, I just ordered, um, I ordered the first Witcher book and it arrived the other day. And I'm really oh my god excited Please to start. Please let it. me know. Please let me know how you feel about that. Sean tried to read that book. He's not a reader, so that's probably the main thing that stopped him. Yeah, let me know how that goes. I don't remember exactly which one I ordered because it's kind of tricky because it's not necessary. The like the order, the like chronological order of the story doesn't necessarily go. In the, cr- in the order in which the books were released. So... Yeah, I'm pretty sure that the books are more make more sense chronologically than the show did. That is my understanding, having never read the books before. Um, Let me see which one I ordered. Because I, ha- like, I did a Google search for like, oh, which Witcher book should I read first? It's, um, the first one is like The Blood of Elves or something like that. It has a number one. So on that it. was that was the one that like hang on, where is it? It's my order from thriftbooks.com, which I highly recommend. Where did it go? I love thriftbooks.com. As long as you add ten dollars worth of stuff into your cart, you get free shipping. It's amazing. Nice. Uh I ordered The Last Witch or The Last Wish introducing the witcher is it's like a short story from my understanding is it's not a short story but it's a story that he wrote um like after the first couple books were released and Mm -hmm. it like kind of helps you get acquainted with the world and understand like what a witcher is exactly cool so i'll see how that goes um yeah keep me posted i'm excited for what Okay, so I just got one that says fast and slow. And I'm like, are we talking mm-hmm. physically or mentally? Because, <laughs> like, those are very different I, things for me. Well, like, I'm not a fast runner, but I went all the way fast because I talk really fast and I my brain just goes really fast. Like, I'm always... Sean is... My fiancé, Sean, is, like, really... He has, like, a slow, gentle heart. His his He's, like, a sloth. And so, like... He, like, takes, like, 30 minutes to tie his shoes, you know, and I'm just (laughs) at the door like, we have to go. Let's go. So I went full fast on that one. (laughs) I finished my my questions, just so you know. Oh, geez. I will uh, speed this up then. I was looking up my thrift books order. Take your time. Um, I learned that the word... I'm just so fast. I learned that the word ludite means a person opposed to new technology or ways of working. Oh, yeah. So I, would, I think it's pronounced Luddite. Or Luddite. Okay, great. For your record. Um, I would definitely say I'm more of an intellectual being than a physical being. <laughs> <laughs> Same. Am I tense or relaxed? I mean, do we mean like generally or in the current state? I know. Of everything. I did 50-50 because it's like I'm a human. So all of the above. This one says brave and careful. And I'm like, I wouldn't necessarily say I'm careful, but I also wouldn't say that the things I do are brave. (laughs) I'm like careful before being brave. Like I'm not stupidly, recklessly brave like someone, Harry Potter. (laughs) Just then, Harry did something that was both very brave and very (laughs) stupid. Uh, idiot. Uh, I love that stupid idiot. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I would say I'm definitely more playful. Mm-hmm. Arcane or mainstream? This is interesting. <laughs> so weird. Are you asking if I'm a witch, bro? <laughs> That's what it feels like. Okay. All right. Did you, let's see, before you, re- before you view your results, would you be willing to answer a few more questions to make this test more accurate? Did you do this? I didn't do it yet. I was waiting for direction from you. Oh, okay. It says it takes three to five minutes. What do you want to do? Well, if it makes the test more accurate, might as well. Okay, let's do it. Oh, geez. Information learned. If you I knew it. I knew it was just, mm, I knew it was for them to collect information. Oh, okay. So select any of the works of fiction in the list below that you know uh, that you know enough about to confidently rate the personality of characters from them. I don't know if we have the same lists, but mine is like Westworld, Twin Peaks, Stargate. Oh, interesting. So mine, 
My list, I'll read my list out. My list is Sex in the City, Jurassic Park, Sherlock, The Simpsons, Silicon Valley, Pirates of the Caribbean, True Detective, The Wire, Park, it says Park and Recreation, which I'm assuming is Parks and Recreation. (coughs) Um, Stargate, The Office, Game of Thrones, Firefly, Dexter, Lord of the Rings, that's appropriate, and Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Okay, I have some overlap. Mine is Westworld. Twin Peaks, Stargate, Star Trek Deep Space Nine, That 70s Show, Community, Star Wars, Crazy Rich Asians, Lord of the Rings, Breaking Bad, The West Wing, Pride and Prejudice, Dexter, Game of Thrones, Romeo and Juliet, and Buffy. That's my list. Nice. Um, I s- okay, I'm going to click continue. Yeah. Let's see. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Where does Anne This Perkins is so fall? funny. So now, oh, holy cow, there's 30 of these. Um, yeah, this is crazy. So I guess just go through. So now what this is doing is it will bring up characters from some of the shows or worlds that you or fandoms that you selected, and it asks you to rate them on the same kind of thing. So this, so I guess this is the same thing. Just go through it, and if you find what, and if one comes up that you think is interesting, say it. Here's one. Have you seen Westworld? Uh, no, I haven't. Damn, I need help with this one. For anyone out there who has watched Westworld, this one's asking about Lee Sizemore, who's the the little scrawny writer guy. And it's asking me, on uh, it's a spectrum of straight to queer. Where does he fall? And I don't think that comes up in the show. And I have no idea. Is this supposed to be how he presents himself? Because I don't know. I'm going to leave it in the middle. He's a little bit queer, just like the rest of us. <laughs> um, oh, this one's fun. Where does April Ludgate fall on the spectrum? Poisonous or nurturing? <laughs> oh, my God. That's so funny. And, like, that's so spot on. You know that April would put it, and I did. I put it all the way to poisonous. Yeah. This is a lot of Westworld stuff. <laughs> I don't know why. Oh, this one's hard. Where does Leslie Nope fall on the spectrum? Dramatic or no nonsense? It's hard because, like, she... It's very yes to both. She's, yeah, like, she's very... She is very serious about a lot of things, but she's also... I'll leave it in the middle, I think. Oh, for anyone who watches Westworld, that's all of mine are Westworld. It's asking if Teddy... Where Teddy falls on the spectrum of cruel to kind. So I'm gonna max out that kind button for my little baby Teddy. I keep getting a bunch of questions about freaking Mark Brandanowitz, and I'm like, he was in two seasons. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. He's the most boring character. I know, right? Um, so what I have discovered about, or what I've realized about Mark Brandanowitz and why, like, why it improved so immensely when he left is because he was all his character was always like the straight man. He Never and like all of the different characters have a chance to be like ridiculous and to do something stupid and silly. Like they all have those moments right. where they get like even when Ben like Ben is usually the character that is like the voice of reason and stuff. But like he has his moments where he's like talking about calzones or he does the cones of Dunshire. Yeah. Like they all have their moments where <laughs> they're ridiculous, but you know, also can be the voice of reason. And Mark Brandanowitz was just always boring and he never was silly. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely like deeply unsilly. Just like the most vanilla person. Hmm. Is April Ludgate straight or queer? That's a great question. I think that she would be open to a lot of things. I know. I think so too. Every single one of mine was about Westworld. Yeah. All of mine are about parks and recreation. Which oh, I wish I had gotten Parks and Rec too. That would have been fun. Although technically, all of mine are about park and recreation because it has this. Yeah, right. And it's also it's like about the characters from the first like season because I I haven't gotten a single one about um about Chris or Ben and Mark Brandanowitz keeps coming up and I'm like why? Okay, That's here so we go. Weird. Um, I finished mine. Did you finish yours? Yeah, and then it asks you for just like your age and and stuff. Let's a couple see. random things. I have. A, I love it. Can we use how much of Parks and Recreation have you read or watched? All of it, multiple times. <laughs> yes, that is also my answer. Okay, what is um, your age? Can we use these answers 
for our research, I guess, because sure. it's only my opinion of Westworld. Okay, good. I'm finally at the universe. Okay, hang on. Did you put in oh my God. your Myers-Briggs stuff? What is your current occupation? Yeah, I'm gonna only put- because I remember it. Have you done your Enneagram test? I did mine and no. just because I was curious and I feel like I wasn't, it didn't feel true to me. All right, mine is loading. Interesting. Loading. I'm a 90% match for April Ludgate. Okay. I'm an 84% match for Leslie Nope. I know that's not what we came here for, but I'm honored. That's amazing. Um, okay, so, okay, so now we can go to Lord of the Rings and yeah, in the universe section. I found here we it. go. Okay, Lord of the Rings. Oh my god, yes. Oh. I mean, you go first. <laughs> Is it Sam? No. <laughs> you tell your tell yours first. <laughs> I'm a 62% match for Gandalf. Hell yeah. <laughs> I was <laughs> I was, Tell me what's happening. <laughs> I'm a seventy per. I'm a seventy six percent match for Gollum. <laughs> what does that mean? Oh my oh, god! Mary oh oh no. my god! Wow! Oh my god! Okay. Oh, I'm lightheaded. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna click on some other universes. Um I'm gonna click on the so below the little graph it says full match list. I'm gonna show that. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, okay, and my second one is Legolas! What? I hate this. Okay. I'm a I'm awesome basically. I'm a 70 for six. <laughs> yeah, 76% for Gollum. And then I'm a six wow. I'm a 60% for Pippin, 58 for Mary. 56 for Gimli, 40, 54 for Gandalf. It just goes down. Good news, folks. I'm only a 41% for Boromir. Also, this should surprise no one. But the person at the butt, this is a list of 10 people, 10 characters. The person at the bottom of my list for a match is Samwise Gamgee. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> oh, my okay, God. Okay, so my top five are Gandalf, Legolas, Mary. Pippin and Gimli. This is so fun. Um, yeah, let's do the Harry. Let's do Harry Potter. Okay, <gasps> I'm an eighty percent um, match with Tonks. Ooh, I got Tonks too, but I'm only a seventy percent match. <gasps> do you know who are your top five? Do you know who my my number two? My number two is Moaning Myrtle. Wow. And what then, the hell? then it's George Weasley, Sirius Black, and Alistair Moody. Okay, I got Tonks, Molly Weasley, Hermione Granger, Albus Dumbledore, and Luna Lovegood. That's amazing. That's, amazing. that's, that's, gr- that's a honored. quality. But I demand a recount. <laughs> uh, Yo, l- next let's do Avatar The Last Airbender. Yes. I, you read my... <gasps> I'm a 72 match for Sokka. Oh, that's... Okay, you're a total Sokka. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I got Ty Lee, which, okay. Followed by Toph is my, so I'm a 72% match with Sokka and 71 with Toph. That makes sense to me. Nice. Yeah. 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 I'm Ty Lee and then Sokka and then Toph and Katara. And I, it's funny because I've always really related really deeply with Katara, Katara because yeah. she's, I'm a water sign and we're ruled by the moon and like, you know, emotions and stuff. So um yeah but tylee i like her this is fun it's also are there any other do you want to it's also just really random the like fandoms and worlds that they have on here like they have the great gatsby on here let's click it um i'm a 68 percent match for myrtle myrtle wilson which i believe is the person who gets run over (laughs) yep that is accurate i'm jordan baker the (laughs) she golfer i think she's a oh yeah she is a golfer um, my number two match is, is Gatsby though, so that's fun. This is this is So a you cool get to thing. die either yeah. way. Yeah, this is true. Um, um do you wanna do Oh, let's do Pride and Prejudice if you like Pride and Prejudice. Sure. I read it once. <laughs> I'm a sixty seven match with Elizabeth Bennett. Nice. I'm Elizabeth Bennett too. Nice. I mean all of her sisters are kind of ridiculous, so that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. To me. Um, for anyone one? who cares, I know Mary Clay doesn't care, but I'm a nine, a 69 match for Marjorie Tyrell on Game of Thrones, and I feel like she would appreciate that statistic. Um, yeah, I want to pull up Game of Thrones and just read them off to you and see what it says. Let's see. Yes. 
Do it. My number one match is Arya Stark. Oh my god, that's very bad. Um, and then my next one is Yurgrit. Why? That's Egret. Egret. Okay. She's cool too. And then Bronn. Okay. And then okay. The- Theon Greyjoy and Asha Greyjoy are four and f- number four. Wow, and five. that's a pretty good lineup. All right, cool. I love how it has. And then, like, I love this. The rest. I know that the Starks are like the favorite people. Yeah. Aside from Arya, the rest of the Starks are at the very bottom of my list. They're very serious so. people. So my top two are Marjorie Tyrell and Olena Tyrell. So basically, I'm a bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's do the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Okay. All right. All mm-hmm. right. I am a 73% match with uh, Peter Quill. Oh, that's pretty good. I got Tony Stark. Nice. Kind of a dick, but... <laughs> Smart and fun. Followed by Loki is my number two. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. That's because you answered chaotic to that one question. This is true. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Um, I'm going to do The Office. Oh, my God. I got Kelly. Of course I got Kelly. Oh, I got Meredith. (laughs) (laughs) Nice. This is just fun. Like, I could literally. um, Wait, there is one. I wanted to do. Where is it? I wanted to do Sherlock. All right. I'm Sherlock. I'm Sherlock too, but arguably there's not a lot of characters. <laughs> that's true. In the show. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I just think it's funny because, like, <laughs> that's probably only due to the fact that I put, like, I'm an intellectual being <laughs> as opposed to being. Oh, a- yeah. Um, I got, for Pirates of the Caribbean, I got Elizabeth Swan, and I would like to. I got Jack Sparrow! That- <laughs> wow. 70- that's a chaos. 78, which is just so relevant for me because. Yesterday, I posted on my Instagram. I posted on my Instagram story, frantically trying to find the specific version of the main theme, and I sounded like a lunatic. And I was like, "I know this is only important to me, and I understand that no one else cares about this. But do any of you know what I'm talking about? Because I was trying to find a version <laughs> of the score." And it starts out in my head. It starts out soft and slow, and it goes like do 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 and it like kind of starts out slow and sneaky because Jack is doing something sneaky and suspicious, and then he gets caught and it goes crazy, and then he and then it goes like da 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 da, and I for the life of me cannot find what I'm thinking of, and it's driving me absolutely insane. That's so weird. But I know what you're talking about. <gasps> thank you. Thank you. So, uh, <laughs> well, Christina, thank you for doing that quiz with me. That was very fun. Um, yeah, that was fun. I can't believe that I was a match for Gollum. <laughs> I know. It's hard to come to terms with, but it just means you're resourceful, like a Slytherin. Yeah, but not like the good kind of Slytherin. Like, <laughs> yeah. whatever. You who did you? I forget who did you get Legolas. I got Gandalf. Gandalf. That's that's great. Why couldn't I? Let's see. Who is my? Yeah, I got Gollum, Pippin, Mary, Gimli, and Gandalf are my top five, and that's unfair. Although that sounds right. I do think this quiz was worth it just for the fact that Sam is at the absolute bottom of my list. So. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. So we will sign off for this bonus episode. Uh, thank you for listening. And listeners, take the, I will leave a link to this quiz in the episode description. If you haven't already taken it, Take it and share your results. Tag uh, tag me in it at Tolkien About Pod. And listen to the restricted section every Wednesday. I had to think about that. <laughs> Despite <laughs> yes, the fact Wednesday. that we record for it every Wednesday, too. I'm playing with, like, witchy or wizardly Wednesday. That'll help you remember. You, we should do, like, wit, uh, like how it's women, woman crush Wednesday. Do, like, witch crush. Oh, yeah. Witch crush Wednesday. That's a great idea. Or something. Wizard oh God, Wizard Crush that. Wednesday. Yeah. Yeah. I like that idea. So. All right. I never know how to end these bonus episode ones. So, Christina, you. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>